Today, on the Wednesday of Easter week, the Gospel reading is a familiar story of two travellers on the road from Jerusalem to a village called Emmaus. If you would like to read the passage before we continue with this reflection, it is chapter 24 of Luke's Gospel, verses 13 to 35. In this passage, we encounter two travellers who, like us, have just come through their own Holy Week. They are reeling from the experience, but, unlike us, they sadly do not have Easter joy. And they've taken to the road, leaving Jerusalem and all their hopes behind. Theirs are feelings of fear and disappointment. Everything seems to have gone so wrong. Jesus has disappeared from the tomb and the story the women who went there to have a look are telling is so far-fetched and unbelievable. I'm sure there are many times when you've heard the Christian life of discipleship described as a journey and the Emmaus story is a marvellous example of Christian discipleship, of how as disciples we walk along life's journey with Jesus. And that if we travel life's journey with others, sharing our faith and our fears, Jesus will be with us, opening our minds to the truth, just as he gave those two travellers deeper insight, he does for all who listen to him. His promise remains, I am with you always. And all the ingredients of Christian life are here in this story, running away from where Christ is to be found. We do that all the time. And meeting Jesus in unexpected places or people or situations. How many times does that happen and we don't recognise him or worse still, mistreat him? And then finding the real meaning and identity of Jesus and his mission in having scripture fully explained. Without scripture, we struggle to really know Jesus. And then recognising Jesus in the breaking of bread, in our celebration of the Eucharist. The breaking and sharing of bread indicates the essential community dimension of the celebration, making it a real communion with all present. And then there's the importance of hospitality, of kindness to the stranger, for don't ever forget, I was hungry and you did or did not feed me. Jesus is especially present and to be found and loved in the very least of our brothers and sisters. And at this time, many aspects of our journey are not following the route we expected and we may feel as helpless and hopeless as those two disciples did as they set out on their journey. But this is an opportunity for us to explore new ways of journeying with Jesus. Something you may not have tried before is Christian meditation. And this story is a great focus to explore this more fully. So still your body and your mind and bring your problem on the road to Emmaus with the two travellers and be prepared to share it in prayer with the stranger who approaches. Learn to listen for his voice, explaining, leading forward, warming your heart by applying scripture to what is going on. 
Learn to live within this story and you will find it sustains you moving on on the journey. Bring your life, your problems and questions before Jesus. And like the travellers, we need to be honest about how we are feeling and prepared to trust the one who walks alongside us. In truth, well, we are all on an Emmaus journey, a pilgrimage of faith. So today and always, let us pray for his presence and sense of guidance so that we, like those travellers, can feel our hearts burning within us as we have Jesus by our side.